Welcome to the Dobsonian Power Channel. Tonight we have the Virtuoso outside. The 6-inch small telescope. A budget telescope, a 400 bucks telescope. That will be working with the 224 camera. This is also a very inexpensive astro camera. Sometimes people choose this camera because it's cheaper but it's not the one I recommend I recommend the 294 we will also be watching the sky although the sky is not very clear because we have thin clouds messing with it but we will watch with the 224 camera maybe the dumbbell neb nebula it's on site and it's upper in the sky so it will be a good target for this Virtuoso telescope with this camera because it has a small sensor. With this camera we can't uh, watch larger objects like uh, for instance the eagle will be only to watch the pillars of creation which is fine, which is fine even with a focal reducer. This stream was uh, to be made earlier Geisler thank you very much for your super chat thank you, you. Geisler th thank you very much also for being a new member of this channel it's very very nice to have support from the members it's the thing that we need to to have some financial stuff to to keep the ball rolling and uh, not spend time in other stuff. I could spend time in other stuff in my life, but I prefer I choose this one because it's the one I love the most. And while it's sustainable, I can I can do it. And it is now. Okay, that said, uh, it was asked to me to, to do this video with a 224 camera and the Virtuos. It's a budget, a budget um, setup. So uh, the 224, I don't know the price now. It will be around 100, 200 bucks. I don't know, 400 or 500. I don't know for the um, the Virtuoso. And uh, if you add a focal reducer, optional, and the infrared cut filter, optional, you will spend maybe 100 bucks more. So it's inexpensive. Astro T, thank you very much for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being so kind to us. Thank you for helping the Dobsonian Power Channel. Dobsonian Power. Power. So the plan was to be with the 8 inch and keep uh, running the, the comparison with both narrowband filters. I will delay that for the next live stream because I'm waiting for a device, a cable, a USB cable for the Virtuoso. It will be connected with Wi-Fi, let me connect it. So it will be connected through Wi-Fi, the natural connection, but... But, uh, hopefully on from Friday, on Friday I will receive from Amazon the device, it's this device. It's already installed, it's uh, a 39 bucks device that it's working because I tested it. You can see on Amazon it's about 27 bucks. You have here the link. And on AstroArt Finland it's on you know, Europe 39 bucks. AstroArt Finland it's our sponsor and it was the company that sent to me this device by my demand. Let me take it off. So this device will is already connected, but it misses the cable, the USB 2 cable. You have the links to, to the one that I bought in my Dobson & Power page. This show is sponsored by AstroArt Finland, your astronomical partner. And uh, there you have the link for the 2.0. I didn't have uh, 5 meters, I, have, uh, I will place uh, 5 meters to connect the Virtuoso 2 the desktop and hopefully have a, a better, a stable connection, which is not so much, at least during the live streams, it's worse. The connection from my small device, it's a small chip 
antenna or Wi-Fi transmitter that I have here, an uh, external one, to the, um, to the Virtuoso. With the laptop, it was internal, but it also worked not so well. Well, it works, but sometimes it seems like failing. If it is the connection, we soon will uh, know that because it will be wired and uh, much easier to, um, to work with, hopefully. Let me take this off. Okay. Okay, so first, because of uh, the, the member that uh, asked me to do this and I decided to do right now, it was not prepared. So we will delay the 8 inch with the filters. And uh, don't worry, because from Friday we will pick the Virtuoso again and more times. The member, don't, don't feel the weight of uh, me doing this for you. Yes, I'm doing this for you by your demand, but it's for other people. I'm thinking in other people, not only in you, that will need and struggle to connect that Virtuoso, what, what materials have to buy. I have those materials on my web page. I have those materials here. Separated right on the top. If you go to dobsonianpower.com, right on the top you have the dwarf and uh, the gear, and then you have the virtuoso and the gear. This uh, M48 no piece that I will show you. The device, the table, which uh, I recommend if you need uh, to do visual or something, and. Um, the USB cable that uh, I bought for this is a, a a cheap one from Amazon. It's enough. It's a 2.0, so you don't need um, a special USB cable for this. You need to check the the length that you need. Five meters uh, will work for sure, but we will do it. We will test it. Not today. Okay. I have the Virtuoso outside in the park position, so horizontal. But I have not the camera there yet. Because I want to show you. Christoph, it's a weird question, but uh, how much this channel will last? Well, will last while I'm alive and healthy if some disaster happen uh, of course hopefully not but uh, it's life if some disaster or, or health disaster or something in my life happen it's natural that at least i pause the event it almost happened when remember when i post the the picture me in the hospital full of tubes uh, that i thought i had a cancer but i didn't uh, okay uh, i i had that fear in that case i will pause at least i, I don't know the future but uh, uh, unless it's not sustainable, but it is now. If it keeps going from here, not back, but forward, or at least stay like this, um, it's sustainable. You have to think in one thing. This is a business. I'm spend, I spend loads of time, loads of time in this. Not only the live streams and the videos, the edition, preparing the stuff, studying. And uh, that time, that time, I could spend in other things to win money for my life because I have a family and I have to pay the bills. So anybody that is on YouTube for a while has to, to win money with it. And uh, it's, it has to be sustainable. So hopefully you can, I know that you understand that. And uh, while it's sustainable, we can dedicate our time here. Of course, if the channel grow, I dedicate even more because this is like a, a positive um, snowball. But uh, I, one thing that I always said to you, I will never let you down. And that's the truth. I may have my defects and I sometimes I'm rude because I'm very direct. I'm not fake. I don't like fake people. I don't like to pretend to act. This is what what you see is what you get, but it has the the other side of the of the coin. 
which is sometimes I'm a bit rude for the people, but I have it's my my way to be. Um, and the ones that are okay with that will be always with me, but I will not let you down. I will not let you down. Mega power. Yes, I, I like to be clear. I prefer to be... It, it's my life. There's people that uh, fake a lot, especially nowadays. They pretend to be something that they, they aren't. And that's not sustainable, and uh, I can't represent that. Thank you, Quasar, for gifting five Dobson and Power memberships. This is crazy tonight. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I was not... Uh, I was not very, very energetic, but now I am to the to this live stream because of the clouds. When I see the clouds, it's it's a mess. Now I have to prepare you because you will see a much <coughs> a much noiser image with this 224 camera, and also you will see because of the clouds, you will see more clouds. I'm very curious to know to discover with you. If the push to system that works very well with the 294, which has a large sensor, if it works with this uh, with this size of sensor, I think it will, because I tried plate solving with uh, the 294 and the Barlow and it solved. Now the camera is this, the 294. This is a, a lens. I have a video about it. You have the default sky, all sky lens to use with it. I purchased this uh, inexpensive lens, you have the links on opsonianpower.com which is a bit better, it's zoom a bit more, at least I like. Some people prefer the opposite, prefer uh, a super wide angle, 180 degrees uh, of angle to, to the, the all sky to have a, a fisheye view, I don't like. I prefer this to watch better the meteors and stuff like that. The the. Mm, Persades and those events. So I will disconnect this. If imagine that it was your default all sky camera, it's the purpose that I give to this camera right now. I don't use this even for, for planets. I use the 294 because it works very well and it's much easier to find the objects. The main reason I recommend to save money to a larger sensor, if possible, the 294. It's because of the size of uh, the size of the sensor. This is super tiny. It's it's a, a cumbersome to to find anything. However, and let's see if it works with the virtuoso. If I even that I can't find the object because it's small sensor. The object can be outside the field of view near us. But if it was a 294, it will catch it, catch it, catch it. It will catch it. But uh, if it's a small sensor like this, it can be around and we don't catch it. But if the push to system works with this, it will help us to, to do that. Let's, let's try. Now, you know that this camera comes with a nose piece. This is M42 to this thread. You can connect it like this. Insert in the Virtuoso Focuser and use a filter here, a one and a quarter filter or whatever. Insert in a Barlow, for instance, like this Barlow, one and a quarter, from La Cirta. You can insert with a Barlow. This is a 5X Barlow, Work, works very well with the, the 294, but for this camera I don't recommend because it's already very highly zoomed, so it's too much for this 224. Now, the, the, um, the focal reducer, the focal reducer, it's an option. Why the focal reducer? Because it turns the cameras faster. You catch more photons because you catch, you catch them faster. Uh, th this is a cheap focal reducer, so it will distort your uh, edges in the field of view, as you usually see when I use the Virtuos with the 294 camera. With this camera, we'll distort less because it's a smaller sensor. And I can't remember, but I think that closer to the sensor, it will work fine. I don't recommend the one and a quarter because to use the one and a quarter, you will use it like this here. It's too much separated from the sensor. The 0.5 X focal reducer will not work and I don't work at 0.5. So 
half uh, of the reduction. I will not, uh, uh, I never work like that because it distorts everything. Only the small uh, space in the middle will be uh, decent. So what I recommend is to get the, the, the focal reducer the closest that you can to the sensor. It will get a bit more uh, a, a less focal length and a bit more faster the telescope so it will have an improvement but will distort the field of view at the edges however it will make it easier to find objects now the difference using a focal reducer here and using in the 294 it's huge because here you will not notice so much the difference because it's a, a smaller sensor so what I have here is First, at the top, the M42 to M48 adapter that you have in my webpage, the opsonianpower.com, it's an inexpensive. This will connect to the camera and will transform everything in a two inch train. A two inch. Then, after that, I have the infrared cut filter. It's a filter from Bader which has two sides, two threads. If I want to use a for instance, an optolong filter I can't because it has only one thread at one size, which is a cumbersome for this kind of setups. Okay, this is this has only one thread, and to insert a filter drawer in the virtuos, it will be too much stuff over the virtuos, in my opinion. So I use it like this, the better one. The infrared cut filter is recommended for low light pollution. If you have, for instance, Bartle 5, Bartle 6, a Bader Neodymium is my preferred. And if you don't, you can al always use, um, at the end, a one and a quarter filter, like, for instance, the Optolong. This setup here, without this filter, imagine that you don't have this filter here. You have this and then the, redu the reducer. The reducer is here, a cheap one. You can use a filter here after this adapter. This is a special adapter, very inexpensive, that you also have in my webpage. It's there, the adapter M42, uh, M48, no speeds. It's there for the Virtuoso, it's in the Virtuoso list, so it's very easy to, to use. The focal reducer, it's optional. You can use this with, any, with anything of two inches, any filter that has two threads it has to have two threads otherwise you will have to place it here at the bottom which is one and a quarter and that's okay now i will connect it to the camera i have this all prepared to be easy to be easy to to use and fast and you can see that the camera is with a adapter with a filter with a two inch focal reducer and with the with this, the, um, the nose piece. Actually, I think that I will use the Bader Neodymium that is outside. I had to take it off. It will be the first time that I will use the Bader Neodymium here, but I think it will be a good choice. Where is my Bader Neodymium? Hold on. I think it's on the 294 camera. Yes, it is. I will take it off because I don't have the drawer yet. Oh, I can't. It's stuck. Yes, I can. This is why I don't like to be changing filters and, and I prefer the drawer or to have, as I have with the Virtuos, everything already prepared because I just touched the, the mirror of the... I just touched the, um, the filter. I always do that, I don't know why. I'm a bit awkward in this, but I have to clean it fast. It's always this. Fortunately, I have this 
alcohol here and it cleans fast there just a smudge i have always the filters it's clean just when always i always have the filters very well clean that's why i can take uh, flats or whatever and i don't have any smudge so let me unscrew again we'll test this because it's too much light pollution now for the infrared cut filter in my in my site i have 25 new freaking leds in the um, behind my house it's horrible so and with the uh, the clouds now i will you see the 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 first adapter to the camera the m42 you connect the filter this is very very easy and if possible if you can have all the setup prepared like i have you see now the reducer it will be fun fun to to test this filter also with this okay and this one we'll go to the box I'm sorry, but uh, I have to do this right now with the, with the filters. Otherwise, then I I have the filters here collecting dust, and I don't want. And now, the one that we will use, the quad band filter, comes back here to the filter drawer, so we can compare tomorrow again. Hopefully, I can do it without touching it so we can compare this is off. I hate to do this to compare oh I did it to compare with the uh, ZWO duo band which is a good filter but they are so similar yes no no dust nothing Now come back to the box and let's connect the Virtuoso. Okay, Bader Neodymium, adapter Bader Neodymium, a focal reducer and a special nose piece ready to go. It's not a subscription, it's a membership. It's only 99 cents a month if you want to keep the R membership. You can become an exclusive member of this channel and have access to unique information, content and features. Be one of the pillars of this channel. And I do priority, of course, of course, to the members. Okay, let's go into the action. Let's see if it works, the push too. I'm very curious about. Hold on. Can I expect Warf 2 to get better? Yes. To get better, what do you mean? To be evolving, to be better... To be better as a, a device, a, a telescope? They are always improving. For instance, the last uh, firmware upgrade that I did, usually I had to do it on, on the desktop because on the smartphone it was a bit uh, awkward to install it it fails but now it's working flawless the 
Dub mount for your solid tube Newtonian. There are, there are. Depends when you are located, but there are. On sale. Without a reducer, I think the plate solving is harder. Could be. Yeah, but you know, it will not uh, give a lot, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. You see the Virtuoso there? You see it there? I think uh, it's super windy. I might have to, at the middle of the session, to take off the, the dew shield. The light shield, actually. It's collimated. I was collimating it because it... Uh, it sometimes it misses collimation uh, we have to check it doesn't happen with my other dobs but this one sometimes it's a bit just a, a millimeter but i like to have it and it's very fast because we have um, the cap the collimation cap to do it that comes with a telescope Yeah, 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 Odin. They are copycatting. <laughs> Copying cat. Copycats. Very convenient, very convenient. But uh, it's good to have uh, to have more more devices because they work, but they will not um, replace the this the dobs. Even this small dob, it's impossible to to watch and uh, the sky with the quality that we watch with this small uh, budget uh, telescope as you do with the dwarf however the dwarf has an advantage over e everything else it's the portability if uh, now in five minutes i have to go and i go to a place with someone that uh, i can benefit from the sky watching i will take it just do it like this, take the charger with you as a smartphone and go. The Virtuoso, it's easy, but you have to, you have more space. Okay, let me connect the cable that is there and the camera. Now, I connect the camera in a position, let's see if I remember the position for the 294, in a certain position to have it well, we, I will have trouble focusing, I think. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see first. Shark cap. I will use the instance of shark cap that uses the sin scan. Actually, I will connect the sin scan first. And then we see. Now I will point north. If the push to works, you see loads of wind. Now let's connect the Wi-Fi. Where is my Wi-Fi? Connect the telescope.
Where's my Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay, it's connected. Okay, okay. Now, let's do the connection with Sharp Cap. Okay, now I will have to focus. I will try to do the alignment to see if it works. Because it's pointing to the wall. So let's try the alignment. One star alignment with uh, Polaris. Oof! Okay. Uh, I will say yes because I will have to... You see how difficult it is. With a 294 it's much easier. I think I see a donut here. I will try. Now what I'm going to do, you'll see, it's to go outside watching the monitor and trying to to capture a, a, a donut, a star here. I will do a stretch here, Thunderbolt, a bit less, a bit less, you see the donut, a donut there, and um, okay, this is okay, okay, I will go outside and uh, move the sliders and I will see, I will try to focus, this is the cumbersome of the Virtuoso to focus but once you get a position now I have it for the 294 almost there but the 224 I don't remember with a focal reducer we'll see we'll see I will be outside watching inside <laughs> what a challenge I can't do it properly because it's pointing to the camera, to the security camera. I will point to the other side, forget the, the alignment, and we will do it again. I will try to point manually to a brighter star. Now, this isn't Aries. Now, the sliders. I will have to move the sliders because you see the donut is too, too much, too big. This is my hack to have at the right measure. Not for this camera. Now. Unlock. 
can lock the slider Good. I moved the sliders up because they were down, but it gets worse. So I have to move down. The opposite. Just a bit, just a millimeter. Now that I have closed, I will lock the sliders, they are locked already, and I will work with a focuser, which is also a cumbersome. <laughs> But I think now we can do the alignment. Well, I work with the focuser first. Just a bit. the cumbersome
Too windy. Too windy. Too windy for this. Much wind. Much wind. Now as I change the camera position, I will have to rotate the camera again, another camera stand, to have the right and left movement and up and down, matching the camera. Understand? Yes. I will try the alignment and then we'll see because this is shaking a lot. Now, don't panic, don't panic, because this, this trouble that I had, you will solve, you will do this for, uh, for uh, the first time, but then you will do, I have a video prepared to, to that, you will use this hack, and then you will not have this trouble again. Now, this is pointing to the wall. I will, I think I will first align for the telescope to, to be tracking. 
I will close it because I changed it. Okay, alignment, one star. Oof. You see the 224 sm uh, small sensors are uh, cumbersome. It's possible, but I strongly recommend larger sensors. Let's see if it goes. It didn't move the telescope. So I will have to reset the, the connection. Hold on, I will disconnect the telescope. And connect it again. Let's make the connection. It's my Wi Fi. I will. Hold on. in scan let's see if now it's connected it's still connected but I don't want let me disconnect from Wi-Fi if possible and reconnect to reset everything in scan connect Yeah, but it was not tracking very well. Ray. Now let me connect. It, it was what I was trying to do, but... But it's connected already. Now it's moving. Now it's moving. Now it's... Now it's moving. Now, this has to be fine-tuned, the focus, I think, I think, because this is different from the ZW294. Let's try the first, uh, I will say, yes, we are aligned. Let's try right away the push to if it works like this. Full catalog, catch the star, and Polaris. Okay, let me see if it works. It doesn't work like this with this camera. It doesn't play it solve, it's a, a mess. With the 294 it solves. Let me see if we change here. Oof. See, start moving again. Look, this is Polaris for sure. <laughs> Let me see here in the settings because this is a different camera. I will choose... where is it? Stop, it's okay.
Where's the Sigma here? But I'm using the Focal Reducer. I'm on Mortal 5. Set the plate soft to the correct... Uh, it works better without uh, the Focal Length, according to, to Robin. Do not use Focal Length. Remember that uh, plate solving successful. Remember that I'm not, um, I have not this well focused. I will have to. Oh, it's solved now. It's solved. It's solved and, and put us on Polaris. Okay. Uh, let me try to fine tune the focus with. Um, let me see a star. Before going to the nebula. It's solved. Remember that I'm not uh, on focus yet. Let me see. We are at north. Deneb. Deneb. Or Vega. 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 Go to Vega. Um, since scan. Name star. It's here, Vega. Go to, let's see. No, the focal length, it will get worse. Loads of problems reported to... to Robin because of that. I will have to focus this. Look, uh, the stars are not focusing. O catalog Vega Let's start try again like this If it doesn't work now again I will first focus because it's more stable the platform And it's very windy. This is the the hard challenge. I think the the harder challenge of the year so far. Remember that. The 224 with the virtuos with wind with clouds and uh, with the Wi-Fi. Let me focus. Getting better. Getting better.
You see the light shield made make the difference. Okay, now let's do it again. Push two. Pega. Full catalog. So star. Vega. Select. Ok. Start. It's a struggle, yes it is. With smaller sensors it's horrible. It's full of stars, yes. Should be. Let me do something first, like this, and try again. Full catalog. And it's super windy. Look, uh, the the telescope is always even the the small virtuoso. I can try the focal length, but I'm sure it's not that. It will be a game changer for the virtuals to make it work. Sink Mountain Recenter. Stop. Okay, let me try another thing. Another plate solver. a lot win zero stars okay let me start try with another plate solver first Look at the wind. Today it will be impossible with the 8 inch. Yes, it is connected. It's connected to the mount. It's solved. Look. Left 7, up 4. Let's go to scene scan. Ah, uh, no, the trick. Ah, but left now is right. I have the camera. This camera is. Uh, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> this camera is all. It's different. Oh. <coughs> I have to go left. What's left? It's here the right let's see if it's solved now I will stop we'll try to solve again it's solved it's solved it was green but it's still left I have to go left how can I go left up you see why the camera has to be aligned I'll do up and it goes left <laughs> let's do a bit and we stop but now it's telling left it's 
still telling left. It's Vega. No, Vega. Vega. Can't be left. It should not be. Uh, I tried a stop. Now I'm trying. I'm trying. The mount is not tracking. I'm trying all sky. It should be tracking. The thing is the wind. I think. Saying left again and up. Okay, hold on. I will do the, the old fashioned way. I will go outside and see where he's pointing to figure it out. It's up and left, really. But let me try to go to Antares. It's easier for me to, to watch. Uh, I have to go up. I don't know which star is this. No, not left, up. Oh, God. Okay, up. I will lie to to the software since can I will say we are in Vega. Then we'll see. And Harris. Vega is on Zenit. There is now I will check. Let me try to solve first. Camera. See what happened. There is. See if it's solved. Because the wind is not so heavy there. Again, left and up. Let me check. Yeah, it's right. It's right, it's left and up. So I will try to do it. I'm I'm click uh, I'm clicking on up but it's going left and up because the camera is not aligned. Doesn't matter. We'll see you later. Super windy. Yes, we can use Stellarium. Stellarium is connected uh, through ASCOM. I still have it connected. Let's see if it played solve and if it updates correctly. Yes, 
I, I didn't want to point to Zenith. Let's see if it works. Moving a lot. Try to break this. Super, super windy. I'm trying to stop the mount from moving. Let's see now. It's trying to play it so look the wind. It's solved. But it's saying again left and uh, ah okay, but it's less. I think I'm so used to the 294 that I have to run more with this one because it's a small sensor. I think that's the problem. I'm not used to such a small sensor anymore. So I move a bit and I think I moved a lot, but no, because it's a small sensor. I think it's that a problem. Move left now. If you, you you have only the virtuos on this mount and this camera, you will get used to this and you will have the marks of the position of the camera, everything. I still have to go left. I think I will have to adjust the camera because this is a mess to go left and it goes up and everything. I go left, it goes down. So if I go here, okay, it's going left, I think. Yes, okay. I go to top left and it goes left a bit. I'm moving left. Let me check outside. But I have to move down, not left, not uh, up, as he said right now. I will increase the speed here, the movements from five to nine, that's scene scan. So he gives larger movements. I guess with this camera, it has to be like that. Okay. Okay, left, four, down, okay, okay. I still have to go left. Takes more time with this camera to go to the objects. Let's wait now to see if it's solved. You see, it's a cumbersome with a... I think it's a mistake to buy such a small sensor. But I understand that the budget sometimes... Let me try to break this so it can solve. Oh god. It's moving. Come on, stop. Okay, let's solve. Solve. Do 
the old sky plate solver I'm using in case you don't uh, the ASAP doesn't work it's funny but it works very well with the other dog and the other instance of sharp cap but uh, the members have uh, all the explanation how to properly install it Okay, it's solved. Right, two, down, eight. I'm too much up. I will align the camera. And as an additional issue, the, the alignment of this camera is different than the alignment of the ZWO294. It's not the same position. Okay, I, I'm so up. I have to go down. Let me see if now he's aligned. Down. Well, more or less. I'm not used to this camera. At least he's going down and to the right. Okay, down. We lost a bit of focus. See how I pre why I prefer the equatorial platforms. Now more than ever, with this push to system. Let's see if he can let's solve again. Moving with the wind. Okay, right. Now it's right. We are. <laughs> we are out of focus again because I changed the camera. You avoid all of this buying a larger sensor. Once we get Antares, we say to scene scan. And everything will align, I think, to go to the nebula. Okay, up. We are near. You see, I'm looking at these numbers here. Left and up. Left and up. We are near. Oh, look, a cluster. If it was the 294, we have already we had already it in the field of view. But as it is, you see what I was saying at the beginning of the stream. As it is a small sensor, and there is probably is very very close to the to the field of view, but we can't see it because it's a small sensor. Turns the things much much harder. Now imagine a beginner. Well, it's a matter of getting used to it. Let's stop a bit to see if it uh, can update. 
position in the sky. I could go to Antares faster manually, probably. Okay, I will try to do that. I will try to center because manually it's easier. I have the finder scope aligned. Hold on. Who needs a go-to? It's out of focus. I will refocus this. Super windy. I will move the telescope near the wall to see if it gets better. It's super windy, super windy. Because the wind tricks me, I think it's focused, then it's out of focus, and... but the plate solve, look. Close. This will be a mess because I touch it manually. Okay, I say to this one. Now let's try to go 
to the nebula. Messie, what? <clears throat> You see, it's possible, but it's hard. Messier 27. It's very hard. I prefer the old fashioned way. I see what? 27, no? 27. Then he goes there, and it, uh, it is near, and you can't see. But now, with Antares, I could manually point. But with a dumbbell, I can't. So I have to to rely on Sharp Cap to do that. You see, it's not there, but who knows? Look at the wind. This is incredible tonight. Uh. Tools, push tool, search M27, thumbnail. Now, update mount position with plate solve results. I can do that. But now I can't. I have to do it first. Left and up. Let me see if I can update. Push to M27. And I will click here. Update on position. Let's see if it works. Update mount position. Hey, thank you, Sargai. But this is tonight is because it's a virtuoso. But uh, Sharp Cap will be only for members because it's too too technical. He didn't update the mount position. But it gives us the position. Up and left. Up and left. Let's do it like this to see. So a thing that in... What it was yesterday. Two minutes. To center on the nebula to focus manually with the 8 inch. With this camera, all because of the camera. I'm moving left and up. Hopefully the wind let, will let us... Tonight, even with a wire connection, will be a mess. If it works, we'll see if it works. Let's wait a bit. But okay, I understand that somebody without but with a low budget or on a budget. The true is of course with a bit more of effort what I'm doing tonight. But the truth is, he can, he or she can achieve the results with just a 400 bucks telescope and a two or 100 bucks camera. And a cheap reducer. Now, if possible without this wind. Ah, it's not plate solving. 
Why is that? Start. Why is not plate solving here at the top? Is it because I I checked update mount? It's the first time I do this. Let me try again without it. It's stuck the the sharp cap. Look. <laughs> okay, I I will doesn't close nothing ah it's not connected i have here the ip of the camera of the scene scan okay 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 so it was working you didn't see but it opened a window to confirm the ip of the camera to scene scan m27 I checked again update mount to see what happened. Solving. Come on, I don't want to close the live stream without reaching the goal. Come on. It was doing fine. It's moving, it's moving. Okay, solved. Left three, up three. It's, it's closer now. But it didn't update the mount position, as you say here. I have to do something different. I guess if you update mount position, then you can re-go to its scene scan and it goes truly to the target. Let's do that. Good point, Samir. Thank you, Samir. <laughs> Gracias. Scene scan. Scene scan. Not alignment. Go to M27. It's not there. I did a plate. The solve. <laughs> I don't need plates. Well, uh, it's a, a silly name that they gave to, to this. For a beginner, plate solving. Then you threw to a beginner a bunch of uh, obsolete softwares with weird names. Come on. Who gives a software name ANSVR? Teller of her head that uh, oh he's using Astro Tortilla. You know what is a tortilla? Samir knows. Tortilla de patatas. Now he's not solving. Come on, solve. This is what happened. It's trying to solve, but it's not solving. If now I try again, I stop to see if it works. It works so well with the other camera. It's not doing anything. I will move it a bit. Because it's not there. Yet. So, up. Okay, up and left. I 
I think that uh, mount thing didn't work. Oh, I can't wait for the cable to connect this wireless. Uh, wireless, no, wired. It's solved. Now it's right and down. I, I moved too much. But it's not moving, you see. S Samir, it didn't work. That uh, I will say go to again. If it goes down and right, it might work. Let me see. It's going right... And But before you have to sink the mount. Ah. I will not do that. I will... No, it's not updating now. M37. I will not update. Because this is not a line and it's too windy to do that. I will just hope that it played solve and I will move manually. Oh, the sky is off. Look at this, off. Sync equals update. Update. Mount position with plate solve results. Should update, so. We will see Pluto soon. I think it will solve faster if it was not this wind. You, you can see clearly that every frame this is moving uh, because of the wind. Look, this is not the software or the mount. This is the wind. It's super windy. I didn't count on that. On, I thought it was going to be windy, but like yesterday or so. But no, it's very heavy wind. Look, look. It's much harder to play so like this. Of course. Look, it's impossible like this. And I even moved the telescope to get uh, more protected. Look, it's solved. Left one, down 0 0.29. We are really, really close. Let me change this to... Okay, five. Left. One. I'm on the five speed. To move slowly. Will I get it? But I advise you with this wind. And down a bit. Wow. 
left. We are so close to the nebula. Left one, down 0 0.3. I don't know how we can solve with all this mess. I'm moving slowly to the left. Left 0 0.17, we are really, really close. Right now. Is there? We found it. We found Nebula. Look. <laughs> we did it. We did it. How much time? One hour and fifty. <laughs> Something that uh, with the eight inch seconds but look beginners on a budget beginners on a budget oh, let me close this I don't need this anymore stop when you find it when you find it it's there when you find it it's there and you can do what you have to do let me... She's moving. Hold on. Let me stop it at the center. This camera is good for Planetary Nebula. Because you can record videos. Oops. Where's the 224 stack? I don't have... I don't stack with the 224. Oh no. Oh no. I will do manually stack. 
2 millisecond, 2 millisecond, 2 seconds, okay, 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 it's fine. 450, gain, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, 450 gain, bam, bam, guys, bam! You see? It's here! Look the amp glow, without darks. Now, save a scene. Okay, you have already a picture to post on social networks, receive a like because you did it with a budget telescope and a 224 camera. You have already it. Here, you see? Can post process if you like to manipulate the images. Now we, s we wait a bit, it's two seconds only. This amp glow, this is amp glow at the right. What is this doing? Stop. This at the right, it's called amp glow. It's a characteristic of the ca these cameras. At least the 224 has a pronounced amp glow. The 294 is famous to have it, but I don't have. I don't have in mine. And the darks are to to solve that. Actually, I don't know what I'm using right now. Oh. I'm using what? With a 224. Nothing. I think I will do nothing. I will not complicate. You see? Geisler. It was hard, but if you follow all these steps, you might even uh, find better steps to do, easier. I, I'm pretty sure that it can be... We can find shortcuts to do this. But you know, I had here Samir saying, oh, synchro synchronize and... <laughs> Let me adjust a bit, lower the blue. Because of the... Um... Then you crop this. Have another one. We are watching the bubble. No, we are watching. <laughs> At this. We are watching the dumbbell nebula with a budget telescope, a virtuoso six-inch, four hundred bucks telescope, and a one hundred bucks camera ZWO two twenty-four. This is the Dumbbell Nebula with a budget telescope and a budget camera, the 224, and the Virtuoso 6 inch. Is it stacking? Yes, it is, look. <laughs> huh. Yes, Astrofi, we learn a lot. Uh, when we move from this camera, I bought this first, the 224. When we move from this camera to a larger sensor, that's so easy. It's the same as um, the same feeling as when we move from the 12 inch, or when, in my case, it was the 12 inch first, collimating the 12 inch and then collimating a small telescope like the 8 inch or the, the 6 inch. It's much, much faster. Let me see what is the the brightness I always use with this camera. I think it's five, but right now it's five. Yes, it's five. Fifty, fifty. Okay. Then I will I will post it on on the channel. Geisler, hopefully this was helpful for you, at least to inspire you and all the people that is on a budget to work with this telescope. It's a bit hard, you are on the ground pointing then this stuff, but at the end you get this feeling of... Look at how beautiful it is. You see the details? 
With a 294? Hold on. Look how huge it is now. Then you clean with the free software that you have on my webpage at the free stuff. It's the neat image. You can use it for free. You install and use it to clean all this noise here. Actually, you can do some enhancement here first. You go here and sharp mask and bilateral filter. Okay. Thank you, Astro Thief, for gifting five Dobsonian Power memberships. Thank you. Thank you. Steven, Astrocade, David Moore, Nuno Rodriguez, Universe Wonders, you are now members of the Dobsonian Power Channel. Welcome to this great community. Dobsonian Power. Power. Welcome, welcome. Don't forget to go to Discord and connect your account on Discord with YouTube so you can post links and have access to more features, more features than the others. Okay, I think it's fine. We have here six minutes. I don't uh, want to be here forever. What software did you say to use to clean up the image? Go to dobsonianpower.com in free resources tab and uh, scroll down and you have neat image. N-E-A-T. Neat. You download it. Then you go to my channel. It's very super easy and simple to use. You just go to my channel. And uh, you have... Actually, I will post a link here. You watch the video to do... It's three steps that you have to do. It's super, super easy. Hold on that I will post the video here. So you don't have to, to search for it. Hold on. Neat image. It's very, very, very... This was a, live, a video from a live stream that I did. For members only. Then I made a, a compact video. For other people. Neat image. You have here the instructions to work with it's the only software i use right now i clean the image it's running away from the field of view so i th guess it's the end thank you very much for being here with us i will see you in the next stream likely tomorrow i don't know it depends on the weather we'll see we'll see i love to be with you thank you thank you and bye bye